When a fault code appears on your Peterbilt or Kenworth truck and you're driving a Packard MX engine, a lot of times the check engine light is reported back a P code. So we just released Packard P code coverage on all the Packard engines from 2011 all the way up to 2024. And we just gave you the capabilities to make sure that the OTR diagnostics give you the same capability as the day before software when it comes to reading fault codes on your truck. So. If you're driving a, a Packard or a Peterbilt Kenworth truck with a Packard MX engine, you know, what you want to see now, the difference between the way it used to be to way now is, is you'll start to see more P codes in there. And so we don't give you any SPN FMI fault codes any longer. We only give you P codes for engine and after treatment. So what you want to just pay attention to is that there's going to be a, four, uh, a letter and then a four digit um, number after that and when you click on each P code for example right now I'm clicking on P1407 this is the fault code that you want to use for diagnosing your truck so if you have any issues with your truck these this is what you use and you see if it's an active or inactive status and obviously for right now for this P code that I just clicked on there's a leak with the crankcase system which is a pretty common fault code that I've seen um, the P1407 and then if we go down to the next fault code P 3951. This fault code obviously is a DEF tank sensor. ECU has detected a communication issue with the DEF quality sensor. So specifically the sensor probably needs to be replaced or it's in a disconnected state. And so there's an active fault code for this. And so for all these fault codes, you wanna look at to see if they're active and inactive. And obviously we give you more information in regards to that fault code, um, just to give you a full context of what it is that you need to look for. So this is a kind of a game changer for the Packers. Now we give you the capabilities to make sure that you're, when you're using OTR Diagnostics, it's giving you all the right information so that way you could take ownership of your vehicle and it matches what the dealer has in terms of fall code. So especially when you're giving this information for your own self, for your troubleshooting an issue, or you're trying to see exactly if you, um, let's say for instance, if you wanna buy a truck, you wanna make sure that you check the fall codes, make sure that you have all the correct information there so that way you can ensure that you're equipped with the information to make a good decision. So if you're experiencing any issues necessarily with your truck, we now report everything that your truck should see. So you should see more information for you. And then also if you are experiencing an issue with the truck, you'll definitely see exactly what the dealer sees. And so what's nice about that is that you'll be able to see full access of what, if you were to take your truck into the dealership, you would be able to see everything that they would see, which is amazing. And so if you have an issue with your truck, what I would suggest to do is also share that with your mechanic. If you have, use a mechanic, you would use the P codes um, for troubleshooting because a lot of times the way the Packard MX engines are, they only use P codes for their engine and after treatment system. So that's what you use for referencing to communicate that across the board um, to whoever's involved. We just gave you access to all the P codes on a Packard MX engine. If you'd like to learn more, you can visit us at otrperformance.com for more information. Thanks for watching.